Hello everyone and welcome to another Behind the Brand. My name is Erica, I'm a content creator here at Broadmoor Jewelry Company. I'm here with Kirsten, she is a manager here at Broadmoor Jewelry Company. Um, the Broadmoor Jewelry Company is located at the Broadmoor Hotel, just so you know. We do plan to open soon, but in the meantime, we have this show for you. So we're going to talk today about John Hardy. Um, Kirsten has a couple of different collections here represented. Um, if you want to just get us started, when did John Hardy start and why did he form his brand? He started in 1977, and he's originally from Canada. And he was really drawn to the Balinese culture of the legends and the herbs and bamboo and all that stuff. So does he currently live in Bali? He still does, okay. but yes. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so um, I know that he's very into sustainable practices. Very. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a, is a workshop in Bali that Yes, happens? yes. His workshop is in Bali, and he is one of the largest employers in Bali. He employs, I think, about 700 people. Okay. Yeah. And um, you have a question here, the classic chain. Mm -hmm. So what um, does a classic chain kind of have to do with like traditional weaving methods and that workshop that he runs? He actually, classic chain is one of his, is his original collection, and it is the core of his company. And he actually learned this technique from natives there that their family worked for the royals of that island. And it's like a family practice to learn traditions of that um, culture. But classic chain, this weave is done by hand and it takes six to 10 hours to weave one inch. Gotcha. And a lot of it, a lot of what he does, an example of his sustainability and how he likes to give back is a lot of the women do this and they can do it from home so they can stay at home with their kids. That's awesome. I know, it's really cool. He's very in touch with all that stuff. And another one of his collections is bamboo. And this is cool because his idea is wear bamboo, plant bamboo. So for every piece of bamboo that he sells from the bamboo collection, he plants bamboo trees in Bali. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> And so you have a third collection here, is it Naga? Yes, it is Naga. And there is a legend in Bali that there is a dragon that lives up the hill and its name is Naga. And at night it comes down the hill and hangs out with its liver, the pearl. And then in the morning it goes back up and it releases all of the water that it has absorbed and it releases the water over the rice fields. And the other neat thing about the dragon is that in Balinese culture, if the dragon faces you, like this side of this bracelet, it brings you love, and if it faces away from you, it protects you. So this bracelet's kind of cool because it does both. <laughs> right, and how is it actually clasped together, if you don't mind showing us? Its mouth opens, you push down on its head, mm -hmm. its mouth opens, and the ring goes in its mouth. Gorgeous. Yeah. And so I see a lot of silver here. It seems like maybe this is a collection that concentrates more on silver than other collections that you guys have. It is, and he does, and he uses recycled silver. Wonderful. He does dabble a little bit in 18 karat gold, okay. but most of his collections are in sterling silver. And very few colored stones. Very few colored stones. He uses a lot of black sapphire, a lot of black sapphire, some diamond, like on this bracelet. He's got diamond here on the clasp, like this. And this particular bracelet is reversible, so you have 18 karat on one side and sterling on the other. To match your mood. <laughs> yeah, to match your mood, whatever yeah. you want to wear. So yeah. And do you have John Hardy for both men and women? Is that we right? do. We have um, some John, John Hardy men's bracelets. Perfect. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Erica.